it's a bit bit complex with two different cameras welcome to dude rv man let's do it again welcome to dude rv all right i'm, I'm sick of cars we got to do it fast welcome to dude rv as you saw we're at kirchner cavern state park it's an international dark sky park i have the valkyrie i have the hero i have <laughs> The Insta 360, someone's photo bombing. So we gotta gotta get away from here. Look at that beautiful view out there. Man. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's find some cool tunes and go for a ride. Won't take us long. The cavern, it's best to make a reservation for the cavern. We didn't know when we rolled in. Uh, it's, it's a holiday weekend. It is Indigenous Peoples Day and Columbus Day. And apparently that's one of the busier holidays. I, I don't know, it doesn't look like the parking lot is very full to me, but they have no cave tours, cavern tours available. So I had to satisfy myself with a visit to the museum. But that's all right. We're on a road trip on the way back to Texas and I just needed a campground campsite for the night. This is, uh, I think it's 20 miles south of 10. We were at a beautiful Arizona State Park last night. Pachaco, Pachaco Peak. All right, well, we'll cruise the parking lot. We don't have anything else to cruise. I have this really cool butterfly hummingbird garden over there at the museum. There's all kinds of displays talking about books in the caverns. Lots of day use areas. So if you're looking for a, a place to stretch your legs, you may not be able to get into the cavern, but you can come out here in your RV. Go for a hike. That's all we get to see on the bike ride. We'll head on back. Let's, we'll, we'll go all the way to the end of the parking lot and then we'll head back to the campground. This is what most of y'all are here to see anyway. Tank emergency. And we'll slow down now. We're at 4,700 feet in elevation. And uh, I'm a little lightheaded. I, I guess I've got some altitude sickness. I don't know.
bit. That's a 50 amp pedestal. That's a bigger box than I have. Didn't know what I didn't know. If I did, if I had known, well, there were no pull-throughs available when I made my reservation. I should have made my reservation earlier. That's the walkway that takes you to the cavern. Looks like I'm gonna have to do a loop-de-loop. Hit the other side of this loop. We go down to this last side on this one and turn around and go back. Oh, there's one right there. You'll see that one on the way back. All right. These sites are way more level than mine. All right, there's some back end sites we need to catch on that other loop that we just went through. Well, we first went through. That's the only restroom facility. do the upper loop. This is the lower loop. This side, here's the cabins. There's a total of four. Oh no, they're gonna spank me for going the wrong way. Put you straight ahead. We're right here. We're six inches low on the front, at least. We're here for one night, so I'm not, not going all out to get level. Well, 
like that. I like number 24. I like that a lot. For a vacuum, you know. We got a little bit of firewood going. efficient but on the lower loop. That's a dash full of docks. Docks and dash. to go here and that would be the group of primitive camping and what else is there? Oh, there's the volunteer village Carter Caverns Volunteer Village and a trailhead. We'll slowly make our way out of the camping loop so Shortcut right here. That way, y'all don't have to sit through the rest of it. We'll just cut through here. You've already seen it, so cruise over here. Oh, apple. Fat tires do such a great job on sand and gravel. Breaking the law, breaking the law. The epic view of the, the mountain. It's the trailhead. The volunteer village is back there. Doesn't look like there's anybody volunteering. Okay. Now you've seen everything that I have seen.
head back to RV base. RV camp. Another fun ride. Man, those were always so much fun. I really enjoy doing these videos. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for staying with me to this point. I really appreciate it. If you found some value or some got something out of it, click on that thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I really appreciate it. That's why I'm here. That's why I get to see that. Thanks for that. And for my patrons, I am most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?